This is the second section uh, on the uh, chapter five on radians from the Pure 2 book and we'll be looking at arc length. Now hopefully you'll remember from the first section on radians that actually if we've got a circle um, of radius one yeah then this angle is the same as the arc length here when we're measuring the angle in radians so when that's in radians okay that's if the radius is one now if the radius is a different length um, we can just multiply the uh, the radian angle by the radius so for example if the radius was two if you take the angle that's in radians and multiply it by two you get the arc length this is where radians are really useful so what we've got is the arc length is equal to the radius times this angle at the center that's measured in radians so you've got radius and radians and we can shorten that if we call the um, uh, arc length L and radius R and the angle at the center there theta then we have our formula and this will give us an arc length so it's very simple there's no um, 2 pi r multiplied by the angle over 360 like you did at GCSE. All we need to do is to do the radius times the angle, making sure that the angle is in radians, but we don't need to change our calculator to radians mode just yet. That's only if you need to work out sine, cos or tan of an angle that's given in radians. So you don't need to change the mode of your calculator at this moment. Okay, right. So find the arc length of a circle with radius 5.2 so r is 5.2 given that the arc subtends an angle in other words that angle at the center is a 0.2 or 0.8 sorry radians okay so the length of the arc is just going to be 5.2 times by 0.8 see how easy that is yeah, don't convert it to degrees. Leave it as it is in radians because it's much easier. So let's do 5.2 times 0 0.8 and I get 4.16. So 4.16 and it's in centimeters. There we go. Dead easy. Okay, let's try another one. An arc AB of a circle with radius 7 um, and center O. Right, so in this one we're given the length of the arc now we need to find the angle so it might be useful just to draw a diagram something like this the radius is 7 there um, we're trying to find the angle at the center in other words the angle subtended by the arc like the angle made by the arc you can think of it that way and we know that the length here is 2.45 centimeters so these are all centimeters right so if we know that um, the arc length is the radius times the angle at the center so all we can all we need to do is to rearrange it if you want to find the angle at the center it's the arc length divided by the radius that will give us the arc the angle at center so 2.45 divided by seven that's it that's all we need to do very very simple much easier than dealing with degrees the arc length divided by the radius gives us an angle seven over 20 which is 0.35 radians okay another one done very easy next one um, right uh, arc a b of a circle we center o let's start drawing this so the arc is this bit a b and the center is o 
radius r uh, subtends an angle of uh, theta radians at the center. The perimeter um, of this sector is p. Express r in terms of p and theta. Okay, right. So the perimeter all the way around of this little shape we got here, like this, that perimeter is um, given by P. So let's write down the perimeter P is equal to, well, it's um, the radius plus the radius plus the length of the arc AB and the length of the arc AB is just R theta. So that's the perimeter of the whole thing. So we've got a radius plus another radius plus the length of the arc, which is R theta, okay? And um, we just need to rearrange that to make R the subject, and we're pretty much done. So that's 2R plus R theta. That's what P is, okay? So let's make P the subject, which is gonna mean factorizing it. So let's get R there, um, and let's have two plus theta in there rearranging we've got p over 2 plus theta gives you r in terms of p and theta which is what they want again very easy uh, diagrams do help okay so what we've got here is this um, garden pond that has a straight edge here and this curved bit round here we want to find a length of that curved bit which means finding this angle and to find that angle we need to find this one here so what I'm going to do is just um, draw out that triangle that isosceles triangle so I have 2, 2 and 2.4 I want to find this angle up here so there are two methods I could use I could use the cosine rule in reverse uh, where I do b squared plus c squared minus a, uh, a squared divided by 2bc to find cos a. Okay, let's write that down. So um, b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc will give me cos a. Or what I can do is if I split the triangle down the middle, like this so that I end up with something like this uh, this will actually give me uh, half of theta so let's maybe write um, draw the triangle a bit bigger and mark this as theta over 2 and uh, yeah it just becomes straightforward trigonometry that would be 2 uh, this would be 1.2 uh, with this being the um, hypotenuse here and this being the opposite so I will do sine inverse of um, 1.2 over 2 now I would need to make sure that my calculator is in radiance mode because now we're doing sine cos or tan so let's put just like a little uh, note up here that now because we're doing sine cos or tan radiance mode yeah and the way to change your calculator to radiance mode I've gone through this before is shift set up or the, the button that says menu shift set up then it's option number two it says um, angle set up or angle unit and then you press two again for radians so if you need to change it back to degrees you just do shift set up two and one Okay, so we'll only be using um, those two modes, but because the angle is in radians, uh, or we want the angle in radians, we need to make sure that um, we put our angle in radians mode. So method number one, uh, method number two, I'm going to do it the other way as well, um, just to show you that you do get the same answer. So if I do sine inverse, 1.2 over 2, and I get 
0.6435. Okay, I'm not going to round it because I'm going to use the exact answer. Now, if I do it this way, so you'll do it one way or the other. So this way, I would need to make sure that side A, little a, is 2.4. The side opposite, the angle I'm trying to find, so this is angle A, this has to be side A. So A has to be 2.4. B and C can both be 2. So I'm, I'm going to do... Um, a is going to equal the cos inverse, and I can do this all on my calculator in one go, 2 squared plus 2 squared minus A squared, 2.4 squared, divided by 2BC. Okay, now comes the moment of truth. If I do that, so shift cos, still in radians mode, um, 2 squared plus 2 squared, minus 2.4 squared divided by 2 times 2 times 2 okay and I get 1.28 oh that's why because I haven't times it by 2 yet right okay so 1.287 Okay, all oh, right, remember this was theta over two. That's why. So theta over two is that. I would need to times that by two. Let's just check. If I times that by two, 0 0.6435. I've lost the original answer, so. Yeah, here we go, we get the same answer. It's getting a bit worried there. So, um, yeah. If we times that by 2, we will get theta equals 1.287. And there's a couple of zeros. We want to use the exact answer right. So that is the angle here. So that angle is the 1.287. We want the angle around the other side here. So we're going to do 2 pi, which is like 360 minus this 1.287. Try and use the exact answer if you can. And that um, is um, 2 pi, so I'll just type in 2 pi minus my answer, and I'll get 4.996, it's pretty much five. They probably want five as the answer. Okay, right, let's just double check that. 2 pi minus, I want the exact answer, so I'm going to do my working again. And I'm going to do 2 times the sine inverse of uh, 1.2 divided by 2. Just trying to get an exact answer here. Yeah, 4.996. Okay, it carries on like that. So that's pretty much five, but I'm going to try and keep it exact. Um, let's just rule that off there. Right, so that gives us the angle there. If I want, I'm trying to find a length of C. So now I can just do R times theta. So two times this 4.9961. So C is equal to, just got times it by 2, and I get 9.9923. I reckon, you know, we could sort of round it to 10, couldn't we? Because it's pretty much so 10 centimetres would be that final length. Okay, so now you can do... Exercise 5C on pages 120 to 122.